Tonight, speaking out for the first time ever, John minus Kate. I feel like I was abused for 10 years. What he says really went on inside the marriage and the exact moment it came to an end. The next thing out of her mouth was, I don't even know why we got married. Chris Cuomo, John Gosling, and the questions we all want answered about Kate. If she said to you, I want to work it out, let's try again. The children. You feel like you let them down. I won't know. Who left who? Was Kate dating somebody? Tonight, the tabloids, the affair with Haley. My heart pounds, I get sweaty, I don't know. The rumors, and he says the truth. Fair? Unfair. What happens behind closed doors doesn't always stay there. Family Secrets, a primetime limited series. Reporting tonight, Chris Cuomo. <laughs> Okay. So this is a big deal. This is your first television interview. By myself. By yourself. In four years. So what does that mean to you? Uh, I think I can get a lot off my chest. She doesn't speak from the heart. I speak from the heart. And I think I can get a lot of truth out there instead of speculation. Speculation stemming from months of tabloid gossip and dozens of magazine covers. Standing up for himself for the first time in our exclusive interview, John Goslin, the other half of the parenting duo of John and Kate plus eight, says he is ready to speak out, starting with who ended their relationship. Who made the first move? She made the first move. She knows the truth. I wish to God she would speak from emotion. Do you love Kate? I will always love Kate as the mother of my kids, but to tell you right now, at this point of what's going on, I do not love Kate. It might be a crazy life. But it's our life. 32-year-old John Goslin was the middle child of three boys, born to an oral surgeon and a nurse from small town Pennsylvania. And that's Kate, my beautiful fiance, and my beautiful mother. John met Kate at a picnic. There's one good face you can't miss. <laughs> Their fairy tale romance had all the promise of a successful marriage. And thanks to fertility treatments, Kate got pregnant in a big way, inspiring the TV special Surviving Sex Tuplets and Twins. He looked at me one night and he goes, Kate, six babies is not a lot of babies. And I was like, what? Soon the family would welcome six new babies, and TLC would give birth to a new show. The noise is deafening. Kate's body changed so dramatically from the pregnancy, she would later require plastic surgery. But it wasn't until the couple called their marriage quits. I don't understand Boring. why you Boring. ask me. That their ratings spiked to an all-time high of 10.6 million viewers. We uh, have decided um, that we will separate. It's just not good for our kids for us to be arguing in front of our kids. With divorce proceedings underway, 34-year-old Kate began announcing her feelings about their split. Since then, she's appeared on magazine covers and TV talk shows. Is he a good father? He is. Why the pause? Uh, his decisions right now are not ones that I would necessarily make. Kate, can you just tell us your side of what happened there? In a recent People magazine article, Kate jokingly blamed an alien abduction for John's assumed transformation. Scratch off! From computer technician... <laughs> to rock and roll jet setter. Well, you are accused. I mean, you know, I brought these magazines. This is her, right? She's looking good. Kate strikes back. That's what they use in Star Trek against the evil empire. Right. Yours. Right. What do you think when you hear about one of these magazine covers? I would say let's finish what we got to finish and move on with our lives and stop feeding into the frenzy. The media feeding frenzy and the Gosselin's reality series are a long way from the simple beginnings and tender moments shared in these private home videos from John. Are you getting me? Yeah. And this is me. 
But for all the controversy, John says what matters most to him are these eight kids, starting with the twins. How can you have a birthday on the same day? Because we have twins. Tara, she's the oldest, very quiet, but she's super athletic. Maddie is the polar opposite of Kara. It's me, Maddie. Wow. Artsy, music, singing, dance, drama. Viewers of John and Kate Plus 8 have watched all the six tuplets grow into vibrant five-year-olds. Alexis. Look at your mama and smile. Ugh, she is the firstborn of the six, and she is just wild and crazy. He's mad at you. And then you have Hannah. Hannah. We call her Miss Hawaii. She's just very mothering. I like giving kisses. And then there is Aiden. What do you have in your hand? Crunchy fish, crunchy fish. Crunchy. Who has probably the biggest fan club on the planet. <laughs> Colin. We call him Bubba. He's the biggest. He's the engineer of the bunch. Very meticulous, very organized. Hi, Lily. Hi, Peekaboo. Leah, she, she's very cute and cunning. I look prettier. She would say stuff like, you can't punish me, I'm too cute. And then there's Joel, baby Joel, he's the last of the bunch. Give me a smile, give me a smile. Here's Mr. Flirt. He is very complimenting. If you walked into a room, you'd be like, hey, nice shoes. Or, you know, like, you know, <laughs> he's like five year old saying, hey, nice shoes. You know? Hello, I need your help. Go to 11. No, I can't. Would Why? you come here? Because. But the chaotic stress of raising eight children began taking its toll on the young couple. Even viewers noticed. I'm not talking to you Look, anymore. This is good for going pee potty. It's great. Okay, you need to pay attention. No, you need to stop yelling. I got married at 22, I had twins at 23, I had sex couples at 27, bye bye 20s. You know, and then raising all those kids until your 30s, and you know, you don't even think about what's going on around you. You just do what you gotta do to survive. But John says his marriage didn't end because of parenting demands or because of the nagging that Kate does on the show. Are you annoyed with me? Yes, very. Why? Because the way you yell at me in there, like I'm a freaking dog. He says off camera, the relationship was much worse. I don't trust her anymore. I was abused. What does that mean, you're being abused? I was verbally abused. I was beaten down. I was, she separated me from my family, my mom and my brothers. They say to me, it's so good to have the real John back. It's so good to have the warm, loving, kind, caring person that we knew you when you were, before you got married. I mean, she used to hold the kids over my head and say, you know, don't spend time with your mom, spend time with your kids. Why can't I spend time with my mom and my kids together? I'm not going back to that lifestyle. She ever. changed you? I've changed for her because I loved her. But don't forget who you are. That's what happened to me. Come on, John, don't do it lazy. Get up and do it. Daddy has a little trouble listening. Reflecting on his failed marriage, John says he's had his share of doubts and his share of tears. I felt maybe I was too passive. Maybe I didn't stand my ground 10 years ago. Um, maybe I didn't stick up for my kids. But it's gone. I can't get that back. I mean, the pictures I gave you, I cried when I picked through the pictures. Because maybe I should have uh, kissed Matt and Karen more. You know? It's tough. You feel like you let them down? I won't know. But for all the regret John feels as a father, he says he has no regrets about ending his marriage. I can't sit on the sofa of that woman. I can't sit on someone right now that I despise. Despise? I despise because she's not speaking from the heart. Please, the stuff you tell me in private should be the stuff you tell me on TV. Please. You gotta be careful about how you talk about Kate as the mother of your kids. Maybe it's unfair, but the mother of your child is not supposed to be criticized. Either is the father. When we come back, the women, the rumors. Did John Goslin bring any of this on himself?